Hey guys, it's your boy AK47 Blitzkrieg Boom, and we are back with Man of Medin. We're part of Levin. Unedited, straight raw, and let, let's get it. Alright, so we checked out that door before, and there was nothing there <laughs> at all. So wait, it looks like a spooky hallway. Wait, all right, wait, the mist is down there, but before we go into that, because, you know, that might be getting back to, you know, the main story, just want to look around a little bit. All right. What you got to say, bro? Nope, nothing? All right. Check it out. All right, so now these doors are opening, and to the spooky hallway we go. Wait, let's see what this fella got to say. I'm dead. <laughs> okay, cool. Wait, can't go down here? What? All right. Nothing that way. So I guess we got a forge on the head. Wait, what's this on the table? Oh wait, we are we are, we are read this. Checked over there already. Looks like another the premonition. Or not. Find a radio yet? No, but there's gotta be a radio on this ship. There there has to be. Let's do that shit all out. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? Alright, so it says the map showing the origin and destination of the ship. It was south from the Republic of China to San Francisco. Uh, that's funny when they used to call it Republic. We have here. Uh, ship was blown off course. Cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. That's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Maybe I'll broadcast real contact in a minute. Accepted. Morse SOS. Many crew dead. Hmm. Sound pretty desperate. desperate. I did know that a lot of people died. Alright, before we check. Oh, here's the radio. Take a look. But shit, why did I check the dead body? God damn it. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. As long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Where the hell is the power coming from? Ah! It's working! It's a number station.
sounds like Morse code. Alright, enough of that. Military bandit. Let's ask him for help. Hey! Hey! Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Oh shit! We got him! Uh. Come on, this is an emergency! Please! I don't know if I want to tell him the location. Alright, but like... We're on an old freighter. Our location is 12 degrees, 30 minutes south. 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please, get here now! We need help! He's not with Cal. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please, come in! This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hello, bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? What are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the picture's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? No, that is giving some courage, man. If you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. So much right. The last book is insecure, altruistic. Well, hit the insecure part. Oh shit. Dude, you did not have that, bro. Broken bones? Everything still work? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay. We'll wait here by the radio. Here. Hey. After you. All right. Name back here? Nope. Guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. Oh, oh, it's sick, day. Yeah, man, at, at, at this point, we're just, like, asking for it. <laughs> Where's the place to go in any horror game? Bandit house? Hospitals. I wish I could actually, you know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Wait, what's this room back here? In any other circumstance, you know, this place would... All right, read this though. Some sort of altercation. And that private charge that is said on, <clears throat> on leave from duty. 
They display intoxication in a matter of not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Robert Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It's opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men will return to their ship. Okay. Looks like we have some little squabbles here. What else we got? One day, Arthur Miller, Private Teddy, Death Point, Daybreak, Small Adams were going to see your officer in Miller's locker. Adams recovered and returned to the owner. Wednesday, David Davis, Private Trespass, two days break, found off limits of cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there, breaking a disregard for all orders. So 3A is where our, all, pretty much like, you know, all the coffins and all the spooky shit started off from. DSC, Louis Brandt, public intoxication, one day break. Found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while sure leave. Robert Reed, public intoxication, one day break. Found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while sure leave. Ooh. And then you guys can read the rest. Huh. I guess there was a guy named Joe in sick bay. Okay. So, pretty much, all it was just. People get drunk and intoxicated. <laughs> but damn, dude, there's a lot of people in the sick day. <laughs> what do we have here? <laughs> Science is X. So it looks like we had a shiny scientist on board. That sure ain't gold. <coughs> so it seems like that sure ain't gold is not treasure, but some type of bioweapon that causes hallucinations. I mean, you come in contact with it, you become, it, it seems like you're drunk or intoxicated. Well, <laughs> drunk or intoxicated, I mean, same thing. <laughs> that door's too inviting. Don't trust it. Oh, no. It's the kid from the first part. Been the son of somebody on board. Oh, Jesus. All right. And you guys can read this. <laughs> so, so from from the no scenario, it seems like this sort of. I gotta say, chemicals seep this way slowly uh, into the, the crew of the ship. What is she looking at? Anything over here? Yeah. Don't push the button. Okay. Here, come check this out. Look, 
Down there. Looks like the engine. Good place to find the generator, right? The ladder's broken off here. I think I can just... Wait! Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, all good. Just come down. My god, one thing I noticed in this game. Like... A lot of people don't have shoes. I don't know why I keep noticing that. Oh, God! What's up? That! It, 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 it was... Wait, wait. Did you see it? Um... Hello? Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so... Follow my thinking here. We know this ship is carrying Manchurian gold. Which was actually some kind of dangerous chemical, right? And there's this, like, weird fog everywhere. All over the place. Maybe that's the Manchurian gold. And maybe it's fucking us all up, like in the head, you know? I mean, I definitely saw some crazy shit that I could have sworn was real, but maybe it wasn't. We know the crew were scared shitless of something. None of it happened. None of it was real. It was just a hallucination. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. So the plane was a search and rescue. It came out heavy as people on the ship sent to distress. We know that. I guess at that point, the fog done its damage, and for whatever reason, they shot the plane down. I mean, who knows what the hell they were thinking, or thought they saw? Uh, Alright, let's get going. Hmm. Well, hey, I would like to take credit for figuring out what maturing goal was for before this guy did. I swear, <laughs> I swear that you are high. Uh, Rush down. He did that. Okay. See who's back here? You know what I miss right now? Dry clothes? Yeah. All right. Cell grab log. Alright, so like you guys can pause and read all this. I'm just gonna skim through it. and chains. Alright. You know, I like the, the way you can, you know, individually control the flashlight. You know, it really adds like a real immersive feel to this. Hey, hey, I found it! Oh, thank God. And it's working! Yep, this is it, all right. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, guys. And this has been AK47 hey, for the hold up? Boom. And I'll see you next time. Okay, let's get back upstairs. There's got to be another way up. <laughs> oh, wait. I guess I got a little extra power, for you guys. We have it back. Can you hear me? Over. Please state your situation. Over. We need help now. There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over. The recovery mission is being prepped. Please see what's the vessel you're on. Over. We're on this like old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Medan. Oh, 
Come, work them in. All right, guys. So, like, uh, give y'all a little extra for this one, and uh, I hope it uploads to YouTube correctly. But this is it. Has been AK47 Blitzkrieg Boo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.